I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my student and I hope this solution helps you also. Thank you Melissa for sharing this question with me. Uh, let us go through this problem and understand the solution. The question here is find the coordinates of the points where the line intersects yz plane right so it will intersect only at one point so we'll write find the coordinates of the point where the line 3x plus 9 divided by 4 equals to 2 minus y over minus 1 equals to 4 minus 3z over 5 intersects yz plane so let's have an idea about this so let's say this is our coordinate plane right we are talking about a line intersecting yz plane so this is our x plane this is y and this is z we don't know where the point is but it has to be somewhere between yz planes that means this plane right so if it is on this plane in that case the coordinate value of x should be equal to zero right so in this plane coordinate value of x is zero so that helps you to find the equation, right? So that's the strategy. So we'll do it in two steps. One is we'll write parametric form. Of the given equation. And second, we'll find or calculate parameter for x equals to 0 right so these are the steps involved so I hope now with these steps you should be in a position to solve the question you can pause the video answer and then look into my suggestion well how to write this in parametric form so these are the uh, let me copy this equation first. We have 3x plus 9 over 4 equals to 2 minus y over minus 1 equals to 4 minus 3z over 5. Let this be equal to parameter t, right? So that is the key. So once you write this as parameter t, right, then you can convert easily into parametric form. So let's look into the first equation. We have the first equation as 3x plus 9 over 4 equals to t. We could write this as 3x plus 9 equals to 4t or we can isolate x. So we can say 3x equals to 4t minus 9 and then divide by 3. So x equals to 4, I mean this is t. 4t minus 9 divided by 3. So that is how we can get parametric forms. x is equals to this. Similarly, we can write others also, right? So uh, I'll not show these calculations now, but in fact give you what y should be. Or well, let's do it, okay. 2 minus y over minus 1 equals to t. And that gives you 2 minus y equals to minus t. Bringing y to this side, we get, and t to this side, we get t plus 2. So that's the second equation. And uh, the third one, okay, we'll do, we'll cross multiply. So we have 4 minus 3z equals to 5t. And bringing z to this side, so we get 3z equals to and 5t to this side, 4 minus 5t, or z equals to 4 minus 5t over 3, right? So that becomes the parametric form. So this is for x, this is for y, and that is for z. Now what do we need? We need to make x 0, right? So if x is 0, what is t? That's the whole idea, right? So, so let's get back to, uh, and then we'll calculate y and z, right? So the idea here is to make x equals to 0. We could have used this equation also. This is better to use actually. So the equation is, or even this one. So the equation is, so what we will do is actually, we'll use the original equation itself. You might do a calculation mistake here. So that is very safe to use. So in this equation, which is for us, 
3x plus 9 over 4 equals to t. I'm going to substitute x equals to 0, right? So if I write x equals to 0, I get 9 over 4 equals to t, right? So the value of t is 9 over 4. Now what you need to do is calculate y and z for t equals to 9 over 4, right? So this is kind of fractions, maybe difficult at times to work with. Anyway, so substitute t equals to 9 over 4 and get y and z. Okay, so that's the whole idea. So what we get here is uh, from here y equals to 9 over 4 plus 2, right? Which you could write as 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 9 is 17. So you get 17 over 4 as your value. As far as z is concerned, z will be equals to, um, let's rewrite this as 4 over 3 minus 5 times 9 over 4. Okay, this is kind of tricky. Okay, so let's extend this side. 4 over 3 minus 9 times 5 is 45 over 4. So with common denominator of 12, we have 16 minus 3 times 45. So it is 15, 5 and 1, 12, 135. Right. So now we'll take away uh, 16 minus 135. So, so we get negative. This number is bigger. So 15 take away 6 is 9 and 2 take away 1 is 1. So we get 119 over 12, correct? And that gives us the coordinate points. So our answer here is, let me shift this page a bit on the right side. So we have x value as 0, right? y value 17 over 4, and z is minus 119 over 12, right? So that is how you can find the solution to this. Now, as an added exercise, what you can always do is find the points where it intersects xy plane and um, xz plane, right? So that you could do as a practice question for the same. So as you have seen here, we need not really simplify this one. So we need to write complete parametric form to save time. It works. So that's kind of a learning from this, ex from this video. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.